My friend, it's not gold. Gold, my ass. My bones are cracking from logging this load. Step it up. You gotta catch that feast on time. Hear me out. They say that hag has a quirky ways. Each season she'd wed a mate and devour him. Once our lady brought her a wedding gift. A mirror. The past echo. Which? The past echo. The lady often speaks of it with regrets. I wonder why. Let me finish, will you? The hag got the mirror and looked into it. And for no reason at all, she threw it away. That soured our lady's mood. She stopped visiting since then. Gibbering and jabbering. Couldn't even catch a wink of sleep this whole time. What? Who's in there? How dare you spoil the gift from her you come down and join us? <laughs> hmm. Leaving so soon? Why the shyness? Hold your monkeys. <laughs> Let me fix you up a little. Yeah. <laughs> ah, welcome, good sirs. The feast is all set. Please come in and be our guests. Gentlemen, you're fashionably late. Is your lady not joining us again this time? Uh, our lady uh, prefers not to be seen in the lower realm. Uh, but she's been thinking of you all and sent this small token. She hopes your lady will recover soon and pay her visit up there. <laughs> Oh, it's a pity she didn't come. Or she would certainly enjoy a splendid show we've prepared for her. <laughs> but now, the gift's gone and blood's been shed. I say, you two should take the fall. We're just servants, madam. What's the jest? <laughs> I know you find your look embarrassing, but why hide from my mother with another pig face? <laughs> Rude girl. Don't you know I'm a pious Buddhist? Give me your mother's name, and I'll check my list. You heartless ass. After you ruined her house and her reputation, you're telling me you don't remember her. Reputation? Ha 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 Yao Guai's care about reputation. All she cared about was lust. 
Now I know, you're one of her spiderlings, aren't you? <laughs> well, well. Your rudeness is forgiven. Show some respect. Maybe I'll kindly pay your mother a visit. <laughs> visit or not, I'm afraid that is not your call. <laughs> Human skin can't change your gross nature! Uh, yeah, uh, sure. We are so low compared to you, a glorious admiral of the court. A last monkey still fresh in his grave. And here you are, another monkey sidekick. Cut your bullshit! Get your mother to beg for mercy, and maybe I'll spare your foolish life! <clears throat> Truth is, the thing you seek is right here in the hollow. Flee now if you're too scared to come in. Scared my hoof! I'll destroy this rotten hole right now! Let's see where else you'd build your lair! There's a great treasure hidden within. You seem smart. Why don't you take a chance inside? <sighs> Blast this talisman! Those old rascals. On your feet already, are you? Best keep clear of this mess. It's for your own good. Go find the pig before it's too late. Grim and dire is this land. I came here from the New West for the wisdom of the Hundred-Eyed One. But he shut his doors and made me prisoner in this lair. Tales speak of these insatiable spider-gwise. They could use a strong male like me to 
consume and practice. <sighs> Much I owe you today, my friend. <sighs> Without your help, along the way, I would see no more of the flaming mountains. <sighs> I've laid your path for you, but where will my path be? From now on, we're both on our own. Tell me, monkey, what's it like out there, beyond these mountains? been dreaming about yours. Kittle <laughs> Pratt, dead. <laughs> Stop it. Can I take it back? Hey, look, the groom is here. Apologies for keeping you waiting, sisters. Wow, is he really the one Mother's been expecting? I thought he would look better. He's not much to look at. But as long as Mother is happy. Not much of a looker. But quite a fighter, though. Had to use Mother's ancestral vessel to take him down. Still aching. Aren't you diligent? Such a rare catch. Why not let us sisters have it first? Think before you talk. This is the one Mother is set on. One scratch. And none of us would like the results. What would this marriage change? We are bound to this ill place one generation after another. Even you like this farce. Go. Go ahead and watch. Sisters, the feast is yet to start. Don't tell me you're drunk already. Right, he's nothing but mother's meal. No need to make a big fuss over him. Here, he is all yours. You've done great. Wait. Mother has grown soft with age, and the girls are too young to know better. But can't you see it's all wrong? Yes, but try to think from her position. We're her children. This is what we do. But I am on her side. For decades, she's been tortured by her wound, all thanks to this dumb thing. And yet, she still wants to marry him. No! I can't do this anymore. Love is not about forgiving or getting even. It is never a fair game. It's about two souls woven together by fate. But I... Neither of us was born then. We never witnessed her past. That's why we can't understand her obsession today. Have you told Uncle? Let's worry about that later. Though her joy is borrowed, it's still joy before it's returned. 
You. Come with me. Ahead is Mother's chamber. Now listen carefully for your own good. Mother is usually nice. Only she prefers to dine alone. You wouldn't want to disturb her. And don't look at her in the face, especially her eyes. Hurry, we are running out of time. My words, keep them in mind. Go, there's no time to waste. on earth. It was one merry night, and now she wants to take my life. You are following me like a shadow. Can't you do anything without me? Wait. Spare me this burden. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
I dredge up the past. Aren't we here now? Don't you remember how I spared your life when he asked me to clean up the rest of your sisters? <laughs> I do remember. And more than that, I even remember how I survived on my sister's flesh after you left. That's not all on us. The culprit is that centipede. All would have lived if he didn't weigh my master's flesh over your lives. Yes, he was blinded by greed. But he has repented and made his compensation. He even offered that thing to sustain my life. Otherwise, I'd never live to see you today. My dear, is that true? That thing is in your hands. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, 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 oh. Even now, in your heart, the monkey still comes first. The monkey? Nah, for me, beauty always comes first. <laughs> Good. Carry on with these nice words. Once I'm satisfied, I might lift my finger and tell you where to find it. You wicked hag! Can't you see your old face? Still obsessed with all this lovey-dovey crap at this age? Ridiculous! <laughs> Every day trapped in this hollow, I missed and dreamed waiting for the day to beat you right after we met. So I can heal. Then eat! Could have saved me from your stupid ceremony and vows! What a farce! <laughs> My appetite is lost. Not just for you. But also for her. <gasps> Hideous! Hideous spider! Who fathered such a thing? Your fate today has nothing to do with me! I had my mercy misplaced, that's all! What took you so long? I almost died! Now oh, go quick, this sisters. hag, and get me down! Monkey's the bane of my life. Why do you always have to ruin my plans? In what way am I any less than monkeys? This monkey that you love. I'll chop his heart, slice his liver, and make you eat him!
for nothing but your sake. I'd appreciate a thank you, but you gave me torn arms. Now, in compensation, I'll claim yours! I see now. There's never ascension from those sacks. <laughs> Worthless limbs be gone! That old Taoist fooled me. My challenge was a delusion. Forget it! Face me in a fair fight. You shall learn to best that corruption. Find the needle on purple cloud mountain. Hail, young master. Your face is gaunt, complexion sallow. Both remind me of the venom's touch, as the worm also besets you. An oddity thrives here, the armor worm. Consuming its eggs grants great power. Yet once the larvae hatch, they devour your insides, leaving an undying husk. My fellow disciples, hungry for power, consumed those eggs. And now, most are beyond remedy. Young master, if you will, end their suffering in my stead. They were my fellows. I can't. All these years apart, and they've marred you like this. I journeyed from Mount Lee to delve into the mysteries of this valley. I didn't mean to hold this back from you. It was because I had to. I stayed my hand for my ties to his mother. That's why I called upon you. How did you get this? I thought it was with the Hundred-Eyed Guai. This may well be the design of destiny itself. I shall help you and restore its power. Consider this as my token of gratitude.
few strings dangling from the sky. No one knows whether they lead to weal or woe. Why does everyone vie to scale them? Come down, Grandmaster! I need you!逐渐的搅动，月光在西边的城楼，思念是眉间的。相拥无言，愿天黑化当你，总归说不够
Strength, but not in wisdom. You've not only hurt Bajia and his darling, but also laid waste to the seal of the High Ones. A grave misdeed. Mortal or immortal, all seek to break from the past and start anew. Yet destiny, like a lover's tongue, speaks one way and means another. Though you may savor it yourself, you can never tell if you truly want it or not. Swan must be a high immortal from the court. Amid the trials of the seven spiders and the many-eyed one, it was Bodhisattva Pilanpur who lent a hand. No aid from the court was given. But Wukong is ever heedless of rules. He might have sought higher places for help. This rooster is Pilanpur's son, the Dawn Star, he was called. Through him is forged the Weaver's Needle, the one that subdued the many-eyed master. More than that, he once crowed a giant she-scorpion to death. Indeed, he is a bane to all insects. Ah, even the sacred Gormond remains mundane if he clings to the ties of love. He was an admiral of the court, a pig in the mountains, and Bajia in the journey. Yet his nature remains unchanged. <laughs> so be it, a guileless fool may know less sorrow. Long ago, the many-legged one was subdued by Bodhisattva Pilanpur and locked on Purple Cloud Mountain. Only by a plea from the Celestial Court was he spared. The Immortals dispatch minions to enact their will, while they remain serene, as if playing a game of chess. Pity those pawns. They know full well what they are, yet they cling to false hopes and even take pride in it. <laughs> 